Hi guys, this is Sabrina here. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I actually wanted to review a product that was recently launched by the Pillow Talk Derm. Um, so I, as you guys know, I'm a fan of this brand. I, I use all their products. They do have a mask, a flash mask, the serum, and the moisturizer. I use them diligently like that's really all i use and some other products that i have of course because i purchased them i have to use them and i like them but nothing really compares to them they really improve my skin so my skin is actually not doing the best it's fairly okay i have some vibrations here that i skim because i'm a skin picker unfortunately I do touch my skin a lot um but i I had the opportunity to purchase uh, this product, uh, this new launch, and this product uh, might be helpful to people who are, you know, who, are, um, who have this habit addiction to skin picking. So they touch their face a lot and it becomes red, they're prone to puffiness. Um, so I just wanted to discuss my first impressions and my reactions and I've been using it for a couple of weeks now. So I really cannot give you a full review because usually I like to use the products for at least three months to really get my honest opinion and informed opinion on the product and the performance. But um, I just wanted to really get this out there as soon as possible um, so that people at least know my impressions uh, for at least for the first month of use. So first of all, the product is called the Depuffer. And I really love the packaging. I love the color. Um, I'm a fan of the applicator. I think it's very inventive, uh, very unique, and I do absolutely hate devices and the cooling devices that I have to basically pay for separately to use with a serum, a moisturizer, or another product. So this is kind of all in one, so I really enjoy it. So I really like the pack packaging. I love the color. It seems like it's kind of signifi it signifies a different line, and it makes me think that she's going to come out with other products of the same color, going to be more hydrating, more anti-aging, anti and maybe the, the purple line is more for redness, acne. Maybe I'm wrong, but I'm kind of I like that distinction. So it kind of like it's directed to different skin types. Now the deep alpha is not exactly targeting um, a specific uh, skin type. It's targeting a specific skin condition or a skin status of a certain point in during the day, which is puffiness, redness. It's anti-inflammatory healing uh, just because of some of the ingredients that are in here and one of the ingredients that is kind of the prominent ingredient is the arnica it's an arnica gel you can actually tell that arnica is in here just from the color and also the consistency i've used arnica to arnica products like with that ingredient and they all very jelly like so i'm not surprised and i think it's a very very beautiful ingredient it's not innovative in any way but i think the, the formula is just because there's ash bark extract centella niacinamide arnica and the centella um is a very well known um ingredient that i almost always see you know Korean skincare. I'm always worried when I use new products. The first thought is, and the first question that I have is, is it going to break me out? That's because that's all I care about. I don't have problems with puffiness, so I'm not the best person to really assess puffiness or give you one before and after. Unfortunately, I don't. I do suffer from acne. I do suffer from redness, and I'm a skin picker, so I always have some type of bruises on my skin. Not always, but usually at least once a month I deal with some bruise that I've created. Um, so let me tell you something. In terms of did he break me out? The answer is no. He did not, which is all when I'm always excited when things don't break me out. So this is a, a total win. Um, then in terms of what I think I benefit from it and the benefits that I saw, I will say that... Um, it's a refreshing product. I actually put it in the fridge every day and I use it every morning. Um, for a couple of weeks, I used it in the morning and then for a couple more weeks, I used it every morning and every evening. I think for my skin type, that was a little bit too much. I was starting noticing becoming more oily, oilier than usual. So 
because of that, I would say that I would recommend for oily skin types to use it once a day, morning specifically, because in the morning, um, you're you're supposed to see more puffiness around around your eyes. You just woke up, um, so I would say it makes more sense to use it in the morning. Um, if you want to use this not for puffiness, but specifically for healing, anti-inflammatory, then you can use it at night only, uh, just in the spots that you want to use it on. So kind of like tested it both ways. So what I did in the morning, because it kind of disperses so much product from the, from the applicator when you actually turn it on um, and you roll it, right? All the product comes out and it's like too much. It's too much for my skin. So what I did was I rolled it. I squeezed the product out just a little bit. I took my fingers. And like I said, this is cold when I do that. I took my fingers, I take the product, and I and I place it on the regions of my face where I want to apply it. Then I turn it off. Like, I turn it off status. And then I kind of, like I said, I wipe off the product. And then basically on this applicator, there's no product. The product is on my face and then I kind of roll it. And I do it this way so that I control how much product comes out of this tube. Because like I said, there is, it seems like there is a propensity and inclination of using too much of this product or dispersing too much of this product on your face. And especially if you're acne prone skin, acne prone skin, that definitely will lead to a disaster because an excessive amount of product can lead, always lead to breakouts. So I do this as a way to control how much product I place on my face because I'm literally placing it and then there's no more product on this roller. I just roll it and you. when I use that in the morning, I would place the uh, product under my eyes and then I will just roll it all around because like I said, I'm also treating the redness. Now, I'm going to insert um some videos of me with a red spot in here which is this one um i squeezed something out and i created an injury in this area right and also here a little bit but i tested this product on this one and if you see in the videos i'm going to show it right here it's very red i normally see results of fade like a fading results after a week my skin is a very slow healer it takes a while to heal and the redness not always leaves um usually it takes a year or so after the sample time after getting the tan the sun usually fades away some of these red spots but anyway so i tested this product on this little injury over here for the past uh four days so today's the fourth day and if you see a combination of these if you see how it was in the video and now I can absolutely testify this actually is very helpful when you have bruises or if you have inflamed spots on your face or any part of your body. So I can testify that this helped. Of course, I wouldn't use that in a rolling motion. I would just take already the product of very little drops and I'll just, just spread it around in here very, very nicely and gently. And I will just kind of massage it into the skin, make sure it's fully absorbed. I wouldn't leave this in like fresh and um, tacky on the face. It's a very tacky product. I actually, in terms of tackiness, I would feel that it will make a great primer, especially under the eyes, just because um, it's very tacky. And with the makeup, I guess it will stick well to it. So I, I, I find that it's a, it's a plus, you know, as a primer. So that's kind of my reaction and my first impressions. It's not truly my first impression because I've used it for a month already, but you know, you technically don't experience the full benefits of a product in just a month, but that's just my reaction to it so that you have uh, my honest opinion. Um, so hopefully you guys can make a decision on whether you want to purchase this product. Do I feel that it's a complete necessity like the other products? Absolutely not. I don't think it will make a much of a difference in your skincare unless you suffer from any of these conditions like i said if you suffer from puffiness but like i said i cannot really testify to that the only thing i can testify to puffiness is that it makes your feel awake just because of the coolness of the product and um, the tackiness of the serum so i guess that's why you feel a little bit fresher but in terms of reducing the the, the puffiness i don't know because i don't actually suffer from puffy eyes I really don't. Um, 
and then i will say for the redness if you have redness on your skin if you have that inflamed skin acne i guess it's not an acne acne spot treatment but if you have any scars anything that's still healing i believe this is helpful usually my healing time is a week and this healed this particular spot in the less than five days which is awesome um because that's usually not my wrong time so anyway so that's my my impressions of this product i really love it i love the texture i think it's very unique and essential because of the applicator even though by the way i'm using it i'm defeating the purpose of the innovation of the product because this is supposed to be used directly onto your skin and um, with the product in it and i don't do that because i'm afraid of over applying the product uh but because of my issues that I have. Of course, if someone has normal skin and doesn't have this, a lot of issues except maybe dryness, but they're not prone to redness or acne, I guess they will be they will be okay with just using this product without getting your fingers in it and everything. Um, but for me, I'm very cautious because I don't want to ignite anything. Anyway, guys, let me know in the comments below if you've used this product, if you have any intentions of purchasing it, let me know what you thought of this video. Let me know what you want to see next. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.